On the Sunday morning Surfing Violence Twitch stream, Sonny Sarov requested Nine Inch Nails, Leaving Hope. He wanted to hear it on violin. So I'm not going to be doing many requests, but I am going to start trying to play violin again. But I have this rule. First of all, I'm not going to post any of these videos on this channel so I don't get any copyright issues. I'm going to post them on a second channel, Ford Sues. So I'll put it on over there. And the other stipulation I have is I'm not going to practice anything. And the reason is I'm a perfectionist with the violin. I'm not going to practice. I'm just going to listen to it cold and see if I can play along with it. I just, I don't have the time. I'm just telling you right now. I open that can of worms, that violinist in me can of worms, and I'll never, I'll never stop. <laughs> All right, there you go, Sonny. I hope it was enjoyable. That was actually, that was, yeah, a nice little piece. It reminds me of something um, me and a buddy did a long time ago. Uh, I don't know where he is in the world now. His name's Colin Sobzak. Probably my favorite musician I've ever played with. Uh, he would detune his guitar into these weird, uh, really low, it was like drop, it wasn't drop D, it was drop C, and he had this real open tuning, free form, melancholy. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, that was a great song, uh, good request. I'm not taking anymore for a while, but in the meantime, I do have some that I kind of want to do, and I just want to do one a week because I just don't want to get in the habit of, I'm just a perfectionist, all right? I got to do this one step at a time. <clears throat> Speaking of perfectionist, my daughter uh, sang this last week for the first time, and so some of you saw that her singing a little bit on the stream. The entire video is up on the Ford Sue's YouTube channel. So both those are up there. Here's a little snippet of Satya's performance. She nailed it. Um, and this is a little snippet of her reaction at the end. This cracks me up. She's just like me. Uh, we just both hate our own work, apparently. So we had some special guests this week on the Twitch stream, and they actually got to stop by here in Panama City, spend some time with us. We get to go out to eat together, see the beach together. Uh, they're going to be in the India Connection video on Wednesday. So Bhagavan and Nikhil, and they actually got to see me perform on uh, Saturday night the, with the Panama City Pops. Uh, one of the cool things that happened at that performance was uh, David Ott, the conductor, he's also a composer, and he got to uh, have two cellos perform his double cello concerto. So here's a little bit of that. <laughs> So how did you think the concert went yet last night? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I liked the James Bond part. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, and uh, there was one one which he said a bonus. So oh, I, right. Yeah, I liked that part as well. Hemant Pundit had something great to say uh, in a response to our Building Better Me video, our Friday video. Basically, we don't want to get into the habit of thinking about our sad self, you know, when we're going through depression or loneliness or loss or grief, there's a tendency to think that this is all that there is and that this is the most true expression of who we are. And he was, saying, he was warning against that. And he said, don't do that. He said, instead of doing that, do this. What I'm suggesting is that instead of thinking building a better me as chiseling away at a rock or, you know, striving to be some ideal, I'm suggesting that we tap into ordinary things and enjoy them. I think that's really what this Creator's Corner is about. That's something I've wanted to do for, I don't know, five, well, maybe not that many years, probably 2013, I started thinking of the idea of Creator's Corner. And the, I've been trying to curate stuff on the internet for a long time. I did it on Facebook, I did it on Twitter, uh, I did it in a YouTube video. I don't know, I just never quite found my niche. So this is my like fifth attempt at this. And so basically what I want Creator's Corner to be 
is two parts, and, and we're going to break it up into this way. Arts and culture in one half, and science and tech in the other half. That way you're getting both left and right brain sort of things, that cross-pollination. You know, that's kind of what the surfing violence is all about, that cross-pollination between different things, music and sport. Uh, so I think science and art, I think they can inform one another, and we can get kind of a broader picture of what it means to be more creative as we build a better us. A longtime contributor to this channel and a great fan of the surfing violinist is uh, the improbable one. And so he's written quite a bit, and we've had a kind of a dialogue going on uh, for a while here in which he's really given me some a good a lot to think about. And uh, again, it's just the great thing about this internet, you know, that we can connect across thousands of miles, you know, now I'm no, no longer in India and he is still in India and uh, we can still have this conversation. And he had this to say about, you know, dealing with depression. He said, I feel like I should tell you my whole life because it is full of how I struggled through tough times with the aspect of mental health issues and how art played a huge part in keeping me sane and overcoming those times. We want to do that with the creator's corner side, kind of celebrate the little joys that he was talking about there the things that kind of give you hope in the middle of a dark time, uh, inspire one another to create our own art. Like that's what I really am passionate about is not just curating other people's stuff, uh, but like adding to it. So maybe I'll add my violin to little nine inch nails, you know, um, and then maybe I'll make my own song. So, uh, and then to celebrate what you all are doing too. Keeping with that this week, we have Kara Nail, who I used to play uh, violin with. She played harp, I played violin, and uh, we would go over commute to Tallahassee on Saturdays to be in an orchestra and her mom is uh, you know, like part of the family. So her mom has started this uh, new side project in which she's doing these necklaces. So here's one of them and Kara shared this in the Creators Corner subreddit. Cool, you can take a look at that in the Creators Corner subreddit. Uh, all that stuff will be linked there. So I'm really using the Creators Corner kind of as the hub for this. You know, you feel free to put stuff in the comments below, but it'll even be better uh, just with the way that Reddit handles uh, link submissions it just it works pretty good it's an easy way to consolidate everything and find it in a central place so i have the subreddit linked in the description if you'd like to post your own stuff anything that's inspiring you this week also on the arts and culture side this week we do have some actual art i've been following a twitter account zainep art historian so she posts these great pieces of art. What I want to do, I'm um, starting off with her Twitter account, but I'm, every week I'm going to share a different one that's inspired me. I've got a whole list of these things. I'm actually changing my desktop, my wallpaper on my uh, computer to this. So I'll change it out every week and share that with you. So this week uh, we've got this great landscape by Joseph Feid, I believe. Uh, so this was uh, back in December. She posted this one. And the piece is called a view of Triglav in Slovenia. And I really like this one. I've been playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's some just absolutely breathtaking views in that in that game in which they've really tried to imitate this kind of art style. It's like, it's kind of sometimes seems photoreal, but then it's really cartoony in other times. And you just want to run out into these vistas, you know? And this is one of those, like, I feel like I want to run into that, you know? I want to run up the side of that mountain. So I just think that's a beautiful one. So if you have any art submissions, things that have inspired you, um, most of the ones that I'm collecting are Western. Um, so uh, if there's something from Asia, South Asia, Africa, South America, feel free that, to submit that into the Creators Corner subreddit. would love to take a look at some of that. So speaking of the improbable one, on last week's Twitch stream, he recommended we watch the Black Mirror episode, Nosedive. So Charlie Brooker, the showrunner, he did this little featurette explaining what Nose Dive's about, kind of giving a little summary. And this little 20 second bit here just kind of sums it up. Wasn't a meaningful encounter. Everyone is a little bit heightened and false because everyone's terrified of being marked down because the consequences of that are unpleasant. So it's basically the world we live in. <laughs> yeah, this show, this episode in particular, which I'm really thankful to the improbable one for letting us know about this one. I don't even think this one's satire or science fiction. It's pretty much just a documentary. This is insanely accurate. But I actually had a happy ending there, kind of. Well, yeah, we don't. Yeah, you just got to let it all out. Gotta let it out. Pretty close to home. Pretty, 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 pretty close to it. Like we all looking and envying and wondering and wishing and... How many likes? Hating. 
How many unsubs? How many dislikes? Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a call to awake. It definitely doesn't give you any steps. Well, no, but I like the scene with the the trucker lady. I thought that was good. Yeah. Like she was like a, mm -hmm. giving sage wisdom about, mm -hmm. you know, basically it's, it's about not being a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. And that scene at the end. <laughs> I don't know. I liked it a lot. Like that's definitely Twilight Zone level. So I, I definitely get the hype. Mm -hmm. At this point, there are moments in that show that aren't even dystopian future. They are present reality. Yeah, so I, I liked it. But so, do you think you can handle another one? It didn't traumatize me. Didn't traumatize her. So give us another Black Mirror recommendation. That's not traumatizing. That's not traumatizing in the way that the pig was in episode one <laughs> she still hasn't gotten over it I mean, that episode was pretty thought-provoking rough right? yeah was, uh, that was well executed good job nosedive was good thank you to i'm pretty sure it's the improbable one i'll check on the chat on that thank you for the recommendation we made it we both we both liked it i probably liked it a little better than she did it was there's some super awkward moments in that <laughs> you're like oh no oh no on a lighter note, on Grand Tour, Jeremy Clarkson parodied the Ken Block Jim Kana auto stunt videos, like rally car driving, donuts, and crazy stuff stunts, with his own called Farm Kana, and it just had me and Melissa cracking up. It's my favorite moment of Grand Tour so far. I, I mean, it stands up there with like top ten moments in Top Gear. You know, the previous show that Jeremy Clarkson was a part of. <laughs> I was crying. That's the funniest thing. This is the best moment of Top Gear or Grand Tour in like five seasons. This is so good. This is a shot of him pedaling the clutch like Baker. So I'm also doing some work on a website where I'm going to share some of my writing and stuff like that. It's also a way for me to kind of work on the coding computer program that I'm trying to learn a bit more about. So I haven't added to the to the first short story I'm working on called Bandwidth, but there's a series of stories I started working on when I was in India, and they were I'm calling them preternatural pre murder mysteries. So it follows a Bengali girl who lives in Delhi and she starts getting these messages from someone who is claiming to be like a Sherlock but doesn't want to reveal their identity. So Radhika ends up being like Sherlock's Watson but she gets all these communications just through messages and so she has to actually solve the crimes and people don't realize there's this other person helping her solve these crimes. And it has this kind of weird... Uh, semi sci fi, semi, you know, X Files meets Lovecraft sort of vibe to it. So it's horror sci fi, but then in in the trappings of a mystery story. So I've got the first two parts of a it's still unfinished, but uh the, the good parts are finished. So uh that one's called Fair and Lovely. So you can check that one out. The first two pages are up there on the T S V B A B M dot com surfing violinist website finally uh this was on larry davidson's facebook page this was a great little question what movie traumatized you as a kid so this is my question for the audience i'm going to pass it along from him uh to all of you what movie traumatized you as a kid for me it was a trailer actually it was the monkey shines movie trailer i don't even know if that movie was even scary i think i just need to watch it now just out of curiosity uh, because that movie scared me to death. Just there was this one clip of this toy monkey turning in a circle, and he's got these little uh, symbols, and it's sort of like the big-eyed monkey that goes like that. It scared me to death as a kid, and uh, so I stumbled upon this. I, I've been starting to work on Python. I'm trying to learn a little bit about coding, and Python seemed like a good place to start. I was searching for, for some Python stuff on the hard drive, and then I found this little clip from a few years back. So this is his to-do list. Land a heel flip consists that someday. someday. <laughs> Learn Python. Yeah. Land a heel What's flip. What's a Python? Python's a programming a language. It's a programming <laughs> language. 
<laughs> so, like, he's going to land a heel flip consistently. you got to make up a trick that is yeah. called the python. Yeah, I could try that. And, that and program some python, yeah. lines of python while he's here. All right. Abhiraj, back in Delhi, talking about python. So that kind of made my day. If Abhiraj, if you ever see this, I hope things are going well. And uh, hopefully next time we see each other, we'll both be able to be uh, python masters. So here's how my Python trip is going. Uh, this is a little bit of what I've been working on. And you've got to see, uh, learn from my mistakes if you're into coding or uh, give me some pointers if you are into coding and you're way ahead of me. You can tell me what I'm doing wrong. But that's what this, that's what a lot of this year is about for me is a building year. It's building a better me and that means building a better me mentally, professionally, talent wise and on a lot of different areas. And so this is one way that I'm working on that. Okay, so I've been working on Python. <clears throat> so here's my first seven programs I've made. Simple hello world program, simple hello world number two, and asking a name program with just a couple limited variations. And then this one that actually has a while, so you can go through it a couple times without it closing. Uh, and then another modification of the hello world and yet another modification. This final one right here, the, the uh, calculator. All right, seven days of working on Python. Let's see if I can have a calculator that actually works. Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> this has been my whole life this week. <laughs> you haven't seen the last five programs I've run. I got a calculator that works now. <laughs> and I can do that in my head, so I know it's right. Special thanks to KJD Electronics on YouTube. Introduction to Python. So I know enough to be dangerous to myself and to pull my hair out at this point. I don't have much uh, receding hairline left, so. Oh. Hello. So uh, what do you think of my computer program? Watch this. So I put in this little thing. I tell it that I'm using Python to do the program, and then I've got... A little calculator. What do you want to do? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? What did that mean? 50,000. That a number? 50,000. How about 50,000? 50, 50,000. 500000. Zero, 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 zero. What do you want the next number to be? 5,000. Just 5,000? All right. So we've got 12 trillion, 500 billion. I think this is too much. It's too much? It's too much. So if I... Now it's too much conversation. Wait, too much what? Wait, too much conversation. Too, too much conversation. Too much conversation, too much computation. If you've got any code that you've written, uh, even if it's just tests or for fun or an app you've done, a web app or mobile, just let us know if it's something you'd like to share, you'd like to other people to check out, let us know. We'll share it in the Creators Corner subreddit or you can share it there yourself. Well, that's about it for this week's Creators Corner. If you have anything that really inspired you this week, do let us know. You can post it in the comments or post it on the Creators Corner subreddit. And I'm curious to know if there's a movie that scared you to death as a kid and what was it. We'll see you Wednesday for the India Connection. We had a great time with Bhargavan and Nikhil, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, keep it creative, keep it cross-cultural, keep it constructive, stay strong. And if you can't do any of those things, then just keep going until you can. Thank you.